Hello and welcome to our first assignment, uh, writing the classic Hello World program. Uh, we do this Hello World program uh, to some degree to sort of prove that we can get ourselves inside the computer. I think of Hello World as putting ourselves in the computer and then having ourselves talk back to us, the, the version of us inside the computer talking back. So I think it's an interesting philosophical question. So uh, I'm going to show you how to use our auto grader. This program is a one line program, so it's really easy. So you can kind of get used to doing how the auto grader is. I really want you to do the optional assignment of installing Python on your desktop or your laptop. So you can do the programs on your desktop or your laptop, because I think you're going to learn a lot more when you do that. Um, and as you look at some of the future videos that I do for the assignments, I do them all on the desktop, right? I, I, I hope that if you're reading those, you actually learn something about how to program on the desktop, even if you choose not to do it yourself. Um, and you'll find that sort of as the class starts, the exercise videos are exactly what you're doing for homework. And then they slowly but surely sort of move away and you have increasing responsibility for writing the code. Now don't just work from the homework backwards because if you do, you're you're going to cheat yourself because all of a sudden about the sixth week you'll be like I don't know anything and the answer is well that's because you took the easy way out in the first five weeks and then the right thing to do is to start over and try it again but then be more disciplined the first time through and actually learn the material so um, so let's uh, wait a sec oh yeah I got am wearing my cool Corsair t-shirt and I'm probably the only teacher that you've got that has a really cool uh, Coursera tattoo along with all the other tools that have to do with uh, teaching and learning technology, which is my research area. And we're going to be using learning tools interoperability in my research to do all this stuff. So at this point, you're probably watching this video right there, the Turn In Hello World video. And uh, so each of the auto grader assignments is going to be in video lectures. That's why I call it video lectures and auto grader links. And so you click this. And when you click this, it's going to open the auto grader up in a new window. A new tab. You see now I have two tabs. And so this is a piece of software that I wrote. Uh, you can see that the URL has changed. This is a server that I control. Um, and it, it contains a simple um, JavaScript based Python interpreter. So you're running this code actually right in your browser. Um, and so there's a little editor place. You can use this to edit your programs. For the fierce few it'll be fine. And it saves there all your data so that's fine. Um, but as the programs get longer and longer and your output gets longer and longer, it's a little painful. So the, the idea here is we have the program set, that you're supposed to write, write the program that uses a print statement to say hello world is shown below. We have the output you're supposed to achieve and then here's the output of your program. And so to run it, you type check code. And so what this is saying is, oh, something's wrong on line one. And so I will, uh, I'll fix the mistake, because this is supposed to be a T. And then I'll make a different mistake, where I change this to Hello World with capitals, right? So now I'm going to run this program. It's going to actually work. And you'll see that it runs, but I don't match. This is what this mismatch. And it's saying, please correct your code and rerun. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to press Done for a moment to show you something. So I've left, and now I'm going to go back in. And if you'll notice, it stored my code, right? And, and so it remembers the code, that the last code that you've done the check code on. And, uh, and I can run check code again. And of course, I get the mismatch. And then when I finally get it right by getting this H to be a lowercase h, and then I check code, and it's done. And then it sends the grade automatically back up to Coursera. And so Coursera has your grade and then you press done. Now what's nice is at any point in time later in the class you can come back and you can take a look at the code that you wrote. You can even replay play it again. You can sort of cut and paste and save it to your hard drive. I might need to write a little download gadget so that you can actually download it to your hard drive. But uh, So that's pretty much, oh, the, the last thing I forgot to show you is this reset code button. Um, you'll, it stores the code that you wrote. If you type reset code it says, are you want to reset the code that I provided you in the first place? And so if I say OK here, it goes back to the code that has the mistake. Um, and so that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, I encourage you to try to use your own laptop to do the programming. 
and then cut and paste your working programs into here to test them. But I fully understand if you decide to use your cell phone to do all the programs. It'll be a little tired typing all the programs in on your cell phone, but, uh, but of course you can do that. So uh, again, welcome to class.